Why did we build the cash subs? Because access to memory is so important. And we believed that if you reduce the memory latencies, you get much, much better performance, particularly in games and how gaming performance works. And then the most important piece of Zen 2 is the IPC, or the instructions per clock. IPC, you work incredibly hard for every single percentage of performance. And when we started Zen 2, our engineers told me, Lisa, I think we might get 8 to 10% IPC. Zen was a great core. Zen is a great core. We think 8 to 10% is reasonable. But my engineers are amazing, and they always surprise me and us. And so today, I'm happy to share with you that Zen 2 in the PC workload actually achieves 15% IPC. 15%, every percent counts. And the reason it counts is because IPC lifts all boats. All applications improve with IPC, whether you're talking about gaming or heavily threaded applications and so on and so forth. So we're really, really happy with how Zen 2 has come about. But I'm sure you guys want to know what the product can do. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's start with the very first third gen right is the world's first seven nanometer desktop CPU. It has eight cores, 16 threads, 4.4 gigahertz boost frequency, 36 megabytes of total cache, and all in an amazing 65 watts of CPU. watts for eight cores and 16 threads. That's the power of seven nanometer technology. <clears throat> if you take a look at some of the performance characteristics, look, the second gen Ryzen is a great set of products, but what we're seeing with the 3700X is significant double digit performance in both single threaded and multi threaded workloads at that significantly lower power. So more performance, lower power, third gen capability. But with that, you probably want to see the third gen in action. So Robert, come on out and help me demonstrate 3700X. All right, Robert, what are we gonna show? So we've got Cinebench R20 running, and I was thinking back to my time as a reviewer, looking at AV's K7 and K8 architectures a long time ago, and we've used Cinebench for over 15 years to reliably and quickly test the performance of a processor. And now we're on Cinebench R20, which came out just last month. And what you'll see on your right is the Ryzen 7 3700X versus on the left, the Core i7 9700K. And as we churn through this realistic ray trace scene, you may notice that the Ryzen 7 3700X is uh, quite a bit faster. In fact, it's about one third faster than the competing part. And that's really a testament to the compute performance of Zen 2 and the density that the 7 nanometer Zen 2 architecture brings to a chip. Fantastic. And uh, it, it's just a monster performance, and I think if content creators really, really want something special, that's just 65 watts, this is a beautiful, beautiful part. And uh, uh, I think it's still going. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to take through. The Ryzen 7 3800X. The 
Forty's 800x is now the eighth chord. This is now at 105 watts. And when we think about the 3800x, we really think about it as the eighth chord performance leader. So take a look at the improvements. Ryzen was always an incredible processor, but when you look at the gaming improvements that we've been able to get with their gen Ryzen. You can just look generationally. These are some of the most popular esports titles, things like League of Legends, Dota, PUBG. And you can see tremendous double digit performance improvements because we really believe gaming performance is critical and we designed 3800X for gaming performance. So with that, let me invite Robert out again to show you what 3800X does. Okay, so this time we have the Core i9 9900K on the left versus our beautiful Ryzen 7 3800X. Both of them eight cores, 16 threads, and the great thing about it is this beautiful PUBG demo that we built and recorded to reliably test the performance of this game. This is a tough game to benchmark what we've done it, and what you'll see is that both processors are about the same. And in fact, that's ideal. I know as a gamer that I want a processor that gives so much performance to the GPU that it's out of the way. I don't even have to worry about the fact that my GPU is being bottlenecked by the processor. So the Ryzen 7 3800X, if you were looking for a chip that gives you the performance you need for those high-end GPUs, this is it. It's the best game in town. And if you add in all the other technology features like Gen 4 and 7 nanometer, it's the only choice. Fantastic. All right. Now, what we said about our solution is, it's not just about the processor, it really is about the system. So what we want to show you next, Robert's going to help me, we're going to show you the 3800X with the new Navi Radeon RX 5700 series with X570 motherboard and with a tremendous amount of I.O. capability using PCI Express Gen 4. So this is actually the world's first PCI Express Gen 4 ready gaming PC and demo. So Robert? Let's show our crowd. Absolutely. So, we built two systems. On your left, a PCI Gen 3 system, and on your right, exclusively and uniquely from AMD, a PCI Gen 4 system. And this is running the upcoming 3 mark test. You can ask the question, how much from PCI Gen 4 versus Gen 3? And the answer is clear, and it's large. Up to 69% more performance for graphics from having PCI Gen 4, which is an only set for AMD. Take one second. So we're running about 25 frames per second on the AMD system and about 14 frames per second on the Intel system. And this is just a really great demonstration of what Gen 4 can do for gamers. And we think about how that might help you. Fantastic. Robert, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Today, I'm very happy to say 
The answer is absolutely yes. <laughs> AMD is pushing gaming beyond eight quarters, and today I am so proud to introduce the new AMD Ryzen 9 family.
24 threads. You saw, Robert, we compared against our competition whose device is more than $1,100. But we believe that we want as many people as possible to have the Ryzen 9 3900X. So when this goes on sale, it will retail for $499.